Andreas, is this gonna fit? I think so. You got a size 10 boots? I got 10 and a half. All right. Let's try it. It's gonna be snug. All right, guys, so I traded my Ultra Mine Expander for Andreas's Orca. Gonna do a little uh, comparison. Ultra Mine Expander versus Orca. Let's go. So at the end of the run, we're gonna give our opinions on uh, Orca versus Ultra Mine Expander. Nice. Snowboard for Orca. Okay. Evan, I'm stoked to show you this run, dude. Let's nice. do it. Yeah. Guys, it felt super good to get back on the Orca. Definitely much different feeling than the Ultra Mine Expander. The Orca is like much looser, quick to turn, and softer. So kind of trading a little bit of stability for like more turnability. Andreas, what do you think, man? Yeah, man, I would say that uh, you get way more float out of the Ultra Mind Expander. It's way more flotatious. Definitely feels more like that boaty, cruisy feel versus the Orca, a little bit more versatile. Tighter turning radius, a little bit more agile in the trees. So I think I actually prefer the Orca. If I were to sum it up in one word, the Orca is more nimble and the Ultra Mind Expander is more aggressive. I would say the Ultra Mind Expander is more floaty oh. and the Orca is more agile. Okay, so floaty and aggressive and nimble and agile. Yeah. Sick man, yeah, thanks for trading. Cool dude.